in the products and we're going to talk why a lot more we 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 is Zoho marketing automation confusing the hell out of you? Well, you're not alone. There's a ton of people out there who feel the same way. So make sure you tune into these tutorials to make sure that you get your system set up properly at the start. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be talking about topic and product management, and we're gonna show you how you can go about setting that up so you can manage your leads effectively. So let's log in and I'll see you there. All right, now that we're logged in, let's head over to the topic section and we're gonna talk about that a little bit more. So if we go over to the leads icon over here on the left-hand side, we can select manage topics. And this brings us to the topics menu. This is where we can create any sort of topic that we want. And this is where we can group topics into products, which allows you to be a lot more specific about which prospects, which leads are getting what kind of content and make sure they're actually only interested in getting value that you're putting out there. So for example, you don't want a huge, huge list and then to spam everyone on that list with five different products or five different topics that they may not be interested in because they're gonna be more likely to actually unsubscribe. So if you can tailor and curate your list, your audience, to specific products, to specific topics, they are going to be a lot more appreciative of you and ideally draw more business to you. So in order to set this up, we can add a topic over here. So right now we have marketing. We could say, let's say we have another topic name called um, weekend update. Maybe this is where you talk about what you did on the weekend to keep your followers engaged. We can put in a description as well. We have to put a description in here, my weekend update. So let's click save. We can also maybe set up a Monday motivation post. So if we put in a Monday motivation post, this is gonna go out to everyone who wants to be on this list and people can choose whether they want marketing, whether they want the weekend update, or they just want the Monday motivation. So there's a few different topics in here that your prospects, your leads, your contacts can subscribe to, which is kind of nice. And we can also edit the brand page that they'll see. So if we click edit over here, we'll come to this page. This page allows you to stylize to your brand, and this is what your leads, your prospects, your contacts are gonna see when they go to select which newsletters they'd like. So they'll see their brand logo, they'll see the brand name, the brand description, and they'll select whether they want any of these, and they'll save their preferences. So let's edit the brand logo first. We have ours over here somewhere, just let me grab it. So we're gonna put that one in there. Looks like it just saved the 60 width. So we're gonna exit out of that and see what happens. So we still have our logo there. It's not the best. Um, we could use a different logo, but that I think gives you the gist of it. Our brand name over here is going to be Clientric CRM Consulting. I just need to spell my business name right. And then we can change um, whatever so that our brand name, let's make this huge and click save. Let's click the brand description, CRM, consulting, tips and tricks. Let's just say something like that. Oh, that is not allowed. And we'll set this to be 20. It makes it a little bit more clear. And let's save that. So we can change this as well. We're just gonna leave this for now. And this is what our leads and contacts are going to be seeing. So if we are done now, we're gonna preview that. Let's see what it looks like. So that's not bad. This logo is a little bit small, but uh, we can change that with a different logo as we need, but we can select which topics we want. So that's kind of cool. So that's basically how your leads would go about managing the topics they're associated with. Now, if we close this, we want to say a thanks page over here is another thing we can do. So lead email preference, thank you, your preferences have been saved. So once they've selected this save preferences, so if we just click this, I guess it does nothing, but what it's supposed to do is send you to another page that says lead email preference, thank you, your preferences have been saved. So we don't necessarily want lead email preferences, let's just say, let's change this to say email preferences because that sounds much better and just save that, great. So we can close that now, uh, we don't want that. We can go back to the manage topics over here and let's actually group our topics into different products. So let's say, let's create a new product. We're gonna create a service over here and we're gonna say accountability. Let's say we're creating a mastermind group or something like that. Actually, let's just call it a mastermind. 
mastermind for so let's click mastermind for people Select save and right now everyone is associated to that and we can create another product and let's just say marketing and we're just going to put marketing over here it looks like we can't change this but what we'd have to do is create a new topic name over here called marketing let's just call it 2.0 for now and let's click save so we'd have to remove this one. I don't think we can't drag and drop this and change the hierarchy because it just looks like this. So that's what people would see. But if we close this and go back over here to the topics page and let's just remove this one. So now we should be able to go to the preview and we should see the marketing product and the mastermind product. And within that, we should see the marketing 2.0 and the weekend update and Monday motivation under separate products. So if we go preview over here, that's wonderful. We see that and we can select and deselect. And that's about it for this one. So it's relatively straightforward once you're in here. It can be pretty powerful if you decide to use this effectively for your organization. I know we're still exploring this for our business and for our email list that we have. So it's something that we recommend you spending, sitting down and spending a few minutes thinking about how you'd wanna structure your topics, your products, what products you have, what content your followers might be interested in following, and that will greatly reduce the amount of unsubscribes you have. So hopefully it makes a lot more sense and uh, make sure that you subscribe down below here. We want to make sure that everyone who is struggling with marketing automation and Zoho in general are getting these videos as soon as they come out. So make sure you subscribe, comment and like our videos that will help us reach more people. So we'd be really appreciative of that. And then as always, follow us on our other social channels like Facebook and Instagram. And we're building a community over there and we hope you engage with us and we can't wait to see you there. Bye for now.